The roses are out of the list. Good morning. It is still morning. Yes, it's half eleven. Amazing. We've left the house and it's the morning. I'm going to go into Putney to look at some of this random wallpaper that I want to put in the other room. But the only place we can find it that is open on a Saturday that sells it is Putney, so that's where we're going. Um, look at this tree, unrelated matter. So the leaves are kind of brownish usually, except the new ones which are green. And when they die, they go this colour. Bright red. Isn't that weird? Anyway, there you go, tree update complete. Welcome to another episode of Trophy Stupid Vlog. Alright, we've successfully viewed wallpaper in Putney, and now we're here in Windy Queue. Very windy queue. For the queue, Midsummer Fate. Hilarious, Midsummer, yes. Yes, it is Midsummer, I promise you. Let's see if we can find the food court. Welcome to Cricket on Kew Green. That was a nice couple of runs he's got there. See, this is English summer through and through. Like you think, oh look, the sun's out, it's perfect, we should play some cricket. And then every now and again you get there on these massive clouds and a huge gust of wind. Well, these are clearly the managers walking the boundary, assessing the form. Uh, anyway, we're going, we're going over here where there's a... Um, Sorry, I'm B. Uh, where, where there is an ice cream van. Exciting. Hello there, good afternoon. It's Sunday, it's about four o'clock, and I figured I should go for a walk um, because Crystal's gone into town for uh, to meet the girls for afternoon tea. So I have the world to myself, and the weather is finally decent, so this is what I'm doing. Um, it's very nice out, it's got that Sunday feeling, but then as a kid, on a Sunday, what I would always, what we'd end, end up doing usually in the summer months is we'd come to Kew Gardens hilariously. Uh, but um, I'm already here, so it's especially Sunday-ish, as it were. Oh, sunshine. Anyway, so I go on holiday again in four weeks because, you know, not like me to not be on holiday for any length of time. So we go back to Switzerland um, about four weeks yesterday. So that should be very nice indeed. And uh, thankfully Rick's back at work tomorrow, I believe, so it should be slightly less chaotic this coming week. And my brother's birthday on Friday, so that's something to uh, look forward to. Some fun drinks in Chancery Lane. Uh, but for now I'm just going to enjoy this, I'll see you in a moment. Now it's a while since I've been out this way, this is Brentford, these are all the... Um, ships slash houseboats that are moored along the side. Now what you might see nearer to me is a lot of trees. This is not a bank. This is, or was, there is a boat in there. These are growing out of a ship. They're rotting. They kind of, some of them have been there so long there's just carcasses like bits of metal, bits of wood and uh, this is what the trees are growing out of. It's quite nutty. But it's kind of nice in the sun. So the attempt path on this side comes round from over there and reaches uh, Thames Lock which um, leads you onto the canal system which in turn can lead you up to the Grand Union Canal um, uh, because there's a junction further up, one way goes to Regent's Park the other way goes further up to past where my parents are and this is um, a big dockyard as you can see that's the hull of a boat as a heron and that's obviously an MG. All perfectly normal. It's all about contrast, this walks. Um, so now this behind there is Sion House. This is Sion Park, which many years ago used to have a butterfly house and now has a Wardorf Astoria Hotel. <laughs> a little bit more expensive. That's where the house and the rose garden is, and a very 
strange woman with Tourette's at the gate. Fine. Anyway, so onwards we go. So more Thames Path randomness. What the hell is this place? It's got a flipping bell tower and a coat of arms. And I'm just past Old Isleworth. Now I'm just coming up to Richmond Lock on the other side. Oh, I do like this river. It keeps me entertained. Who knows what mischief I'd get up to if I didn't have this walk. Yeah, not a lot. I know I heard you. Whatever. And now in Richmond Old Deer Park, back on the correct side of the Thames. I have a question for you though. Ready? What the fuck is that? <laughs> it looks like either a fumigation tent or where giant bees live. I'm genuinely unsure. Let's go and check it out. Here is the answer to the question. There we go. So it's some crazy kids TV show. Live. Error, lamppost not found. There we go. Good morning. It's time for another little Thames Path walkathon. So good morning. It's about eight o'clock. Um, can tell by the sort of lawn look in my face. Now I always tell people I'm not a morning person and that is broadly true. As in I don't can't do anything very useful in the morning. I, my brain isn't really functioning at the moment. That doesn't mean I don't enjoy the morning as long as I'm doing something that's rather brainless like going for a walk. So yes I will get up as long as it's a perfect summer's day. Like today <laughs> but not to do something particularly intellectually challenging because that would be a bit of stress on my delicate noggin. Anyway, nice to see you. Glad you could come along. Such a nice day today, both in terms of temperature and sunlight for once. It's the first warm day that I've been able to walk in. I've had some sunny days, but it's actually hot. So so I can't. I, I think I can barely remember the last time this was true. I think it was about last July. <laughs> I was on the other side of the river then, and I was walking in because Ashley Bard needed me to film something, and I can't remember what it was. Knowing Ashley, it's probably obscene, but um, yeah, it's beautiful out. In only three weeks and three days' time, hopefully with similar weather, we're walking along path between Speets and Swaziland on holiday. This is the big row, uh, big show. <laughs> you heard it here first. He, this is his third attempt. He's fallen off the first two attempts, technically drowned. Um, I can't imagine he's going to get close the other times because he's already done about 200 metres. And I've got to go now before the copyright kicks in. Does this man look ridiculous? It's a question. Like you could tell. It's like, oh, there we go. It's like Malcolm McLaren's less of a Johnny McLaren. It's beautiful. So, just another Norden Heart office. And now I'm in proper city of London going here, which is Baranis, because it's my brother's birthday today. He's 30, so he's now officially old, like me. Quite an interesting setting. Just around the corner from Fleet Street and the Royal Courts of Justice and what have you. It's not old London, proper London. So, yes, 
much more civilised than the heart office antics that we've had today. This is Baranis. It has the word bar in the title. It's very clever. Uh, it's Parisian. And, uh, oh, sorry, it's Provençal. And over there is a set of patangs. It's a French boules for those that you don't know. And that's uh, French beer and French, um, you know, uh, patties and all that kind of stuff. So, very fun. Now we're going for curry. Hello, I wouldn't normally film in a toilet, but um, this is the Temple Bar, which is an Indi Indian restaurant um, just off Fleet Street. Now, surrounding us on all sides are lawyers of all sorts. Everywhere you look, there's law firms. So you're in an Indian restaurant and you go to the toilet, what is the first thing you see? Yes, that.